It is a story you'll only see on four. A scam in St. Louis County becoming so common, a note sits outside the community affected, instructing victims to call police. This scam on Facebook Marketplace is sending people to the same spot in West County, but the homeowner says he has nothing to do with it. Only on four, our Kimberly Donahue, live in town and country, hearing from the man caught in the middle of this. Kim? Corey, right now I'm standing outside the Winmore subdivision where one homeowner tells us several people have shown up to his house hoping to complete the sale of an iPhone, but instead he's been breaking the news to them. They've been scammed. I just hate to be part of a scam. There's an ongoing pattern in David Howeisen's town and country subdivision. I just happened to look out and I saw some guy that had pulled up to my mailbox and was looking inside and I walked out and said, can I help you? And he said, uh, I think I've been scammed. Some guy told him that there's supposed to be a phone in my mailbox. He says at least five times over the last two weeks, people came to his home telling him they sent money to someone selling iPhones on Facebook Marketplace. The seller then tells the buyer he needs to leave for the airport and to pick up the device from Howe Eisen's town and country address. They receive a fake entry code for the gated community. If they fail to get in, they then try contacting the seller and realize they're blocked. Howison says he has no connection to the seller. He may not even be in, in St. Louis. We have no idea where the guy is. He could be coming anywhere. Each victim has left empty handed, scammed out of hundreds of dollars. So they're trying to gain confidence, trying to gain confidence from their victim or their target. And one of the ways to do that is just to make things look normal. So yeah, stop by my house and I'll, I'll put it in the mailbox. The Better Business Bureau's advice, make sure the product physically exists before paying for it. If you're buying something on Facebook Marketplace or other platforms, you really should make sure that you see the item in person before you hand over your money. For now, this homeowner is taking matters into his own hands by going to the police and posting this sign on the gated community's call box as a warning. I just feel sorry for the people that are getting scammed probably left and right here. If you believe you've been the victim of a scam like this, the Better Business Bureau recommends you report the incident to the platform you made the purchase on. Also report it to the Better Business Bureau as well as your local police. Reporting live in town and country, Kimberly Donahue, First Alert 4. Kimberly, thank you. And if